Hi everybody, this is Roxy and I am just showing, we are doing a primitive swap at Your Paper Pantry and Eileen Burkett is hosting that. She's Eileen Silver here on YouTube and this month was um, Primitive Towels so she had um, shown, these are a set of three towels you can get at Joann's. They're really nice towels, I mean I might just buy some for um, my kitchen, you know, just plain, because the, the ones you get at Target or wherever are just so cheapy. But anyways, so I found this um, birdie on, I think it's Lori Whitlock, and I have it on my silhouette, and I cut out a pattern for the felt. I didn't want to bother trying to cut the felt right now. I wasn't in the mood to have that hassle. <laughs> so I just cut out a pattern out of some cardstock and then just use that and the way I do it is um, I use a little glue stick and glue stick the back of the pattern, put it on the piece of felt and then just cut it out and then use the glue stick on the, you know, I glue stick on the piece of felt and stick that to the towel and then do a blanket stitch and it holds really nicely and it doesn't hurt the felt or anything so I used um, the blanket stitch and then I cut out and this bird actually has little feet but I didn't cut those out because I didn't want that hassle either and then it also has, what are they, coxcomb? but I used rickrack instead just for kind of more whimsy and this is just some ticking an, a vintage button and then this pocket, or actually wing, I was going to make a pocket and I thought, well, yeah, I better not. So this wing with the little rickrack trim is from the die cut. And there is also a little um, eye from the die cut, but I just used a faceted black vintage bead, or a button actually. So those are my little, and this one I, um, I did them backwards and then used, isn't that cool? So those are my little towels and um, I can't wait to see what everybody else did. Thanks for watching!